Hey guys, I have a quick video on how to find Dollar General remodel locations. So if you are interested, then this is definitely the video for you. So the first sign your store is remodeling might be this little sign on the door saying that the store is remodeling and it'll give you the date that the store will be closed. So we know that a week before that, on that Sunday, that is Penny Remodel Day, when you can come in, load up your cart with the items that are being discontinued, and buy them for a penny. So our first clue that a remodel might be upcoming is checking the price of the True Living wax melts, candles, and things like that. Uh, they tend to go half off a few weeks before the store remodels. So that's kind of your first clue. Look for those. Now, your second clue is going to be looking for the frozen food items at half off. So if the true living goes to 50%, then you wanna check the following Monday to see if your frozen food has gone to 50%. You're going to look up the banquet pot pies, the chicken ones. If they are 75 cents, they are half off. Another good indicator is checking your Hanes items. Some of those items might also show 50%. As long as some core items are showing 50% off, the remodel is more than likely coming. Another great thing to look at is gonna be the pro strength workout equipment, weights, things like that. They will be half off also. Now keep an eye on them because Sunday at 2 a.m., check on your app. Those items should say $0. I'm talking the Mossy Oak long sleeve shirts, the boxers, Hanes, the True Living Wax Melts I told you to look for. All of those items should show up $0 on the Sunday of the remodel. So keep that in mind. It's not the day that the store is closed for the remodel. It's going to be the Sunday before that. That's when you wanna go. When you see the frozen food at 50%, there's a great chance that following Sunday is going to be your remodeled day. All right, guys, so to be very sure that this is going to be a remodel, I want you to search frozen foods in your search bar and make sure that other frozen items are also showing up at 50% off. Not sure if I mentioned this or not, but also look for those big storage containers in the parking lot. So how I research at home to find these locations, I use my Dollar General app. I go and switch between my stores in the location change like you know how you can change the location by clicking on the three lines in the top right corner that's how i switch through the stores and check the prices on the chicken pot pies so i know that that following sunday is going to be the remodel more than likely always 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 check at 2 a.m eastern standard time on sunday to see if the mossy oak items the hanes and the pro strength went to zero dollars all right, guys, you're also going to see these little orange POG tags all over the store in abundance. So pay attention to those items. Those will be items that are going to go to a penny on the big day. I hope this was helpful to you guys. I know it's hard out there and being able to find a remodel would be super helpful for a lot of us. All right, guys, so right now this is how I find remodels. Um, I did a lot of research on this, and most of the people that I searched recommended using the True Living candles, wax melts, as well as the frozen food. Um, but as we know, Dollar General changes things all the time. So if anything changes and there's an easier way to find remodels or if the items that go at remodels change, I will definitely update you guys. I will make a newer video and keep you in the loop. Um, I am by no means an expert, but I just wanted to share the ways I find remodels. Um, so I appreciate y'all for watching. Pop quiz time. So if in July on the 14th, which is a Sunday, they are closed for remodeling, which day would you go in to try to find the penny items? If you answered Sunday, July 7th, you are absolutely correct. It is always the Sunday before the store is closed for the remodel. So I hope you guys have a fantastic day. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I will answer them as quick as I can. I will talk to y'all later. Bye.